Hello and welcome to episode 17 of the Game Dev Tutorials. Uh, sorry this one's a little bit late, but, um, you know, life caught up to me a bit and I didn't get to this one. Um, this one's a relatively short one, at least I think it will be, we'll see. Today the uh, goals are to learn to pause the game. Um, first of all, we're going to um, fix the cursor coloring that's been bothering me. It's just a simple setting the shader stuff. Um, I mentioned it before, but uh, didn't fix it in the last few uh, videos. Anyway, so we're going to do that real quick, and then we will create a bool in Game Globals uh, to set if the game is paused or not. We will edit World's Update to account for the... Oh, you. Boy, that's pretty bad. Uh, for the bool. We will use the spacebar to pause the game. Uh, so we'll just read in single presses for that. And then we will display the pause overlay, which is this, um, if the game is paused. And we'll do that from the UI file. So uh, pretty simple stuff overall. Um, but let's, uh, let's get started. All right. Um, so we wanted to fix the one thing real quick, so we'll just grab this. Um, wow, that's nice that it was already highlighted. And then we're going to come over in here, right above cursor, and all of this stuff is just cursor dot. So cursor dot my model, cursor dot my model, cursor dot dems, cursor dot dems. Uh, and that should fix that. Um, we'll check that when we run it. So it's just that simple thing. It just it's been bothering me. Wanted to get it fixed. Um, so the next little bit here is to come into Game Globals, and we're gonna create a public static bool paused, um, and then you don't need to do this, but the game should always the the base game should always start unpaused. If you're loading into a game, you may choose to um, change pause to true to begin with, just so that the person isn't inundated with crazy stuff and they can get a bearing on their surroundings. Um, but this is just something I like to do, um, is assign it here. Um, let's see. So now we jump into world. And in world, we are going to... Uh, well, yeah... Because just in case we want to reset the game, so game globals dot paused equals false. Just in case you, in case you reset the game, remember we can reset the game by pressing enter. So um, that's a good thing to do, I guess. Um, and then in here, we're gonna say and game globals dot pause not paused, right? So we only want to go in there if game globals not paused. So what is pausing a game? right like that's something to think about and that's essentially what this question is here why uh, what do you do to stop a game uh, from updating right because that's what pausing really is is it's, it's stopping a game from updating you're still drawing usually everything um, I guess if you really wanted to you could create a, a pause screen that doesn't let you see anything but that would be kind of lame because if you can pause a game it's nice to be able to look around a little bit so essentially what you're doing is you're stopping the updating of the game objects um, and most, if not all, input. I mean, there may be some buttons you want to be able to push and whatnot, um, but in general, you're just stopping the input. And so pausing the game is as simple as what we just did right there um, and just having a bool that says, hey, you know what, just stop updating. Um, so we've done that now. It's, it's really that simple. Now here we want to add ourselves uh, pressing of the space bar um, so we'll get single press remember I told you this is like my favorite that's what I use for almost everything because it's just simpler uh, it's already programmed to ignore all the other data we don't need this stuff and then here game globals dot paused equals and if you don't know this little trick um, I don't blame you um, it's not something that a lot of people do all the, well, that, that's not true. A lot of people do do it, but it's one of those things that you may have missed if you've taken classes in computer science or if you're just self-taught. 
If you just want to flip a bool and you don't care what it is, you just want to flip it to the other, all you put it do is put a not sign in front of it. I mean, it's so simple when you think about it, but for whatever reason, a lot of people I found don't know this trick. In fact, I actually, when I was interviewing people for a previous company I owned, um, this became one of the questions I started asking because whereas it was so simple, so few people that are starting out knew it. So I just wanted to cover it real fast. I mean, that's a super simple thing. I probably, you know, maybe even three quarters of you guys are looking at or, or listening to me thinking, yeah, done, moron. Yeah, I get it. I know. I know. Okay. But I wanted to cover it because, believe it or not, a lot of people don't know that that is the, a really, really good way to flip a bull when you don't know what it is. Otherwise, you have to have an if statement to do it, and this is just so much more efficient. So anyway, quick covering on that. Just wanted to discuss it. Um, I need to add... Oi. Um the pause overlay all right let's add this sucker in there pause overlay content copy if newer and then um, we want to go into our UI class which isn't open of course because we haven't done anything with it for a while we are gonna add just a basic 2d so public basic 2d pause overlay I will provide the pause overlay don't worry if I ever forget to add something just ask for it in the comments and I'll make sure I put it in um, so just let me know I actually did forget to add one of them a while ago for a day and then I realized it and I put it up but um, just remind me if for some reason I've, I even if you just think hey I would have liked to have had this thing and you didn't include it Okay, just let me know, and for the most part, I will probably just give it to you. Um, so, yeah, just quickly wanted to cover that. All right, so pause overlay equals new, basic 2D, new vector 2, new vector 2. Um, I think I mentioned this before. I like to fill out all the variables with, like, placeholders before I come back and do them all, um, just to kind of keep my brain going. Um, it's just a preference. I can understand if nobody else does it that way, but that's how I do it. So, um, name that in. All right. Uh, so position wise, we're going to say globals dot screen width over two globals dot screen height over two. And then dimensions, I don't know, 300, 300 is probably fine. Okay. Um, and then down here, the very last thing, because we wanted to grow on top, global, uh, game, if, let's do it. Game globals dot paused, and then pause overlay dot draw, and then, um, let's see, you just be vector 2.0. Sorry, drew a quick blank right there. All right, let's run this. Um, here it is. Notice my cursor's back to green. We've got stuff moving. Game is paused. Press it again. Game is on. Fire a bunch of stuff. It all stops and starts seamlessly. So we have done what we need to to pause the game. Okay, so I know this one's quick and it was kind of maybe a relatively simple tutorial but um, I wanted to uh, go over this by itself so that it didn't get lost in the shuffle um, pausing a game is simple when you know what you're doing but it I guess could be very intimidating if you don't um, anyway if you like this video make sure you uh, hit that like button that thumbs up subscribe Maybe even uh, put up the notification to see when the uh, the new episodes come out. Um, sorry this one's about a day late, but I just... I went camping, my kids got me sick. It was a... Uh, I can make 50 excuses, but the fact of the matter is I just, I just didn't have time to get it done. Um, so, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope this is helping. Um, if it is helping, uh, it makes me happy and it warms my heart. You know, that's, I'm not doing this for any other reason than to make sure that people can learn to make games so anyway um i will see you guys next time